Hey everybody, today's video is going to teach you how to make a reliable claw and lifting mechanism for your EV3 robot. This is the very claw design that I use for my WRO robot speaker. The two beam frames make it very sturdy and strong because the whole assembly is sandwiched in between them. Also the worm gear ensures that there is good gripping power and there is no unwanted motion of the claw fingers. That the only thing that's going to make the claw fingers move is the motor itself. And the rubber grip on the end of the fingers ensure that the object won't fall out and it has a nice secure tractive grip. Lastly, it's powered by an EV3 medium motor in the back. Now, if you'd like to build the lifting mechanism, what you can do is you can go to my past video, which is about linear actuators, and you can gather some ideas on what you would like to do then. That's a very helpful video. Or what you can do is you can do a conveyor type mechanism like I have on speaker, which I'm showing here. Building a conveyor belt type lifting mechanism is pretty self-explanatory, so I'm not really going to go into too much detail with this video. But basically what you do, is you get a whole bunch of these plastic lego chain links and it wraps around two or maybe a few more sprockets and the claw itself will connect directly to these chain links and you'll have a motor on one of the sprockets so the motor will rotate the sprocket which in turn will rotate the whole entire chain link uh, belt type thing and that moves the claw because the claw is attached to the belt and basically the only technical thing that you need to remember for building something like this is to make sure that your belt has enough tension where it doesn't sag or flop around or fall off the sprockets. And basically you just put little wheels underneath the, the belt like I'm showing here and that'll just keep you with enough tension on the belt that it won't fall off. Thank you for watching my video. If you have an idea for a tutorial that you would like me to make, please submit it in the comments section below and I'll see you next time. Bye!